Hello and welcome back to the N8 and series. A lot of you asked us how do we self host N8 and and that's why we're going to cover how do we host N8 and on Hostinger where the cost will reduce drastically. So, in today's video, let's uncover this mystery of how do we host our N8 and instance on Hostinger. We also thought we would do self-hosting on our own server but that's a bit complex and a lot of you being a non-tech person might not enjoy it that's why we thought we'll do it on hostinger and let's get started so to begin let's go to google and search for hostinger naden okay so we have self-hosted naden here okay and uh, we could click on that you can see this one popping up and click on choose your plan and to begin with you can go with the 399 plan per month now this is a bit misleading but that's how most of the platforms market themselves it mentions 60% off but they're not mentioning for how long and this is only for the first trial okay what that means is if you go to choose plan and if you select for 24 months that's when you'll get it at 399 per month okay if you choose 12 months then this will become 499 per month and if you choose one month then this will become 599 per month if you want a free domain along with it then choose more than uh, 12 months and what's important is the next month okay whenever it renews you are going to pay triple nine per month so it is not five double nine per month always it's triple nine per month only for the first instance okay that is if you're choosing monthly then for only first month if you're choosing 12 months then only for the first 12 months okay it will be 499 and then onwards it will be 799 per month but billed annually if you're choosing 24 months then it will be 399 per month for the first 24 months where you will be paying 9576 rupees uh, for first two years and then on it will be 739 per month but billed uh, once in two years okay which means they'll charge entirely for two years now we have gone with uh, one month okay and uh, daily uh, daily auto backup if you want you can choose that but that will again be charged at 269 per month okay select server location india is also available so because we are from india it says india is the best uh, latency for us 51 millisecond okay and of course we have a lot of other uh, options as well right uh, and then select operating system okay uh, we have used n8 m here um i'll just reject this and they have WordPress and a lot more options available. Okay, but what we are looking for today is this NATM. And so we will select this one. And we click on continue. Okay, you can see that they have 30 days money back guarantee. Okay, so we'll click on continue. It will ask us to give our details. So I'll go to register using our account and use this particular account. I'll click on continue and we are in so this is where we make the payment okay we can add the company details and if we add company details we can also give our uh, gst number if we don't give a gst number okay let's say for example i add uh, these details say karnataka okay so for some reason a has this special character here for karnataka uh, so let me just remove this let me click on continue and you can see that it adds taxes okay but if i go to edit and add company details okay so let's say we see the and then gst number of course they have validation for gst i'll add our gst number and then you can see that it comes down so they don't charge you gst if you have a valid gst number okay we click on continue and you also have an option to pay not just via card but also via upi 
uh, PayPal and also EMI. Now we have already bought this plan on one of our accounts, so I will not proceed further making the payment here, but I'll show you what happens after the payment is done, right? So you could make a payment using UPI if you prefer that. And once you make the payment, it will take some time, okay, to create your instance. Okay, it could be a few minutes to a couple of hours. Okay, you will get uh, notified on that. Now I'll close this, move on to the instance where we have already created, and then we'll see what needs to be done next. So I'll go to hosting here, which we had already created. Let's go to my account. We've already logged in, as you can see here. On the home screen, we can see this VPS, which stands for Virtual Private uh, Server. And uh, this is where we have hosted our N810 series, you can see here, okay? And we could click on Manage here, or we can also go to VPS here, and then we can click on Manage. Okay, it's asking us for, tell us more about your VPS needs. I'll skip it for now. Okay, you can see what all has happened. Okay, disk usage, we have done 5 GB out of 50 GB. Memory usage, 18% we have uh, done. CPU usage, just 1% and so on and so forth. This is run on Ubuntu, by the way. Okay, this is our uh, instance. Now, resetting an and user password is pretty simple, right? Um, by the way, I missed uh, something. Once our instance is ready, it will ask us to create our account just like it would do on any type. So for example, if we go to N8N on Google, okay, and if we open this up, then we can click on get started and it will ask us to create an account. Right, just like this, it will ask us to create our account when the instance is ready, okay? We have to create our account and after that is when we will be able to see this screen okay and uh, this is resetting password which is pretty straightforward then we have changing the domain for nadn so if we click on this then we can change the domain okay so instead of using their own domain it can be on our own domain so of course we have to do some uh, settings change okay like we can see here first please make sure that the nadn subdomain of your desired domain is correctly pointed to your vps ip address okay so we have to uh, click on this okay and you get all the details that you have to create option one create a records okay option two create a and c name records so for example find the ip address of your vps okay access your domain's dns zone and delete any a or a a a a or c name records that include at www or cloudflare result to in its name add these two a records okay so we are supposed to add these two a records okay and how this this works is i'll just quickly go to this one and we're going to go daddy you have to open it and go to products okay whatever domain you want to connect it to so let's open the product where we want to connect our uh, domain or subdomain right and you will have something called manage dns there's something that we have not connected so let's go to domain and manage dns so let's go to manage dns it's taking some time so we have this add new records available here okay and that will be uh, available only if we have the domain available with us Okay, this is something that we had bought and then we let it go. So when you click on this, okay, let me just show you in one of the other products which we have. So these are the domains that we had bought and we let it go. I'll go to this domain which we already have, click on DNS and add new record is available here. Okay, then from here you can add the A record. Okay, that's exactly what they're asking for. A record will be here, name will be here, value will be whatever they have mentioned. So here you can see pointed to your VPS IP address. Uh, just clicking on that would take you to a page where it will show. So if you have purchased the domain from Hostinger, then uh, these are the two options that you can have. Okay, you'll have to create A records, one and then two. And if you have purchased the DNS uh, domain elsewhere, then you'll have to follow this one. 
or you can also go to here manage DS, dns records uh, from different uh, providers okay we'll get more details about it right so you could follow one of this now the point is not to connect uh, our own domain so we'll not get more into detail about it okay so that's not what we want how to update an item so click on this it will open uh, the details of how we can update our uh, instance okay like we would do on uh, normal n right so we could go to admin panel we could update our instance okay by going to manage and we could update the instance from here right so likewise if you had to do it on uh, host changer then we'll have to do it this way so click on terminal which opens uh, a screen okay which will be on uh, ubuntu this is ubuntu terminal by the way and it asks us to do a couple of things right one is docker compose pull okay so just go here and uh, paste this okay and click enter we have already done this okay it says pull just hit enter and then we have to do the second one which is docker compose down okay this is pull the latest version of the nitn image and then stop and remove the currently running container and then start nitn with the updated image okay so we just have to copy paste these three things over here one after the other and that will be done okay so that will get you the latest uh, instance uh, that hostinger has for nitn okay and once you are done with all of this click on manage app it will open your own hosted n instance of course on uh, hostinger which will be cost effective when compared to using cloud version of it and you will have all the options that uh, we normally have on cloud apart from a few that hostinger has not yet updated click on sign in and we are i can create a new workflow from here and you, as you can see, we don't have the AI based uh, builder here. That's because Hostinger has still not got that sorted. Okay, that's available only in the cloud version of uh, NITL. But if you go to home, then you can see data tables, which was just introduced on uh, NITL a few weeks back. It's already available on Hostinger. So maybe very quick, we will also have the AI builder on Hostinger. Let's see what the credits will be, if at all they uh, get this over here. But rest everything remains same. Okay, you could also copy the uh, anything that we have done on, um, on the cloud over here. I'll just quickly show you some of that. Let's go here, let's go to 1000 days. Let's go to AI agent and let's see newsletter agent. So I could just copy this entire thing, come to here and say, paste okay so everything will come in just like that but you'll have to create your credentials you'll have to connect your account and all of that okay and um, uh, you may see some instance which does not have for example appify wouldn't be available okay but you'll have to go here you'll have to search for appify and install it okay now because we already tested it we had installed this okay but if anything is not available then uh, check out and install them so that's how you can host your own instance of n on hostinger and that's mainly to reduce the cost it's more than half of what we would pay on n cloud of course it's ha it has its own uh, advantages and disadvantages right like we could see we don't have an ai builder here yet and there are a few things that we will not get on n instance hosted on hostinger I hope this video helps you understand how you could have your own instance outside of NITN Cloud. And if you think that it has helped you, please share it with others so that they understand how this can be done. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.